been a success of yet? Of course it hasn't. But mainly because we were sold a pack of lives. And so the people who voted for Brexit were voting for something that couldn't be delivered. We've got Jacob Rees-Mogg uh, appealing to people in the Sun for some ideas on bureaucracy that he wants to cut. I mean, why didn't they have a plan? I've already mentioned the NHS funds that were going to come pouring in once we stopped spending money to Europe. Um, we've seen what's happened to the economy. The Office of Public... Uh, Budget Responsibility put out their report, which does disentangle uh, the economy from COVID um, and from the global economy. And it is absolutely devastating reading. Our production is down, our GDP is down and the outlook is great. Right, so that's a no from Joe. Uh, <laughs> Philip? Um, well, it's, it's not being given a chance. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a yes from me. I was a Brexiteer and... Um, and uh, but I think there's got to be a will there. So uh, there's got to be a will to make it work. And, yeah. and I don't think there is at the moment. So the idea that we want the keys um, to our own front door is a perfectly legitimate idea because if we don't have the keys to our own front door, then we, we can't really have democracy. But we've got to be able to lock that front door as well. And if we, if we had a... a, a head of um, border control who didn't believe in borders. Uh, so there needs to be a much more... And I'm not anti-immigration. I'm from an immig immigrant background myself. My, my father was Hungarian, came here uh, in 1959... Uh, but I, I do believe we should be having much tighter control on immigration. That could come. That could have come from Brexit, but there's no will to to impose it. Dominic, briefly. Um, I think I don't think it's had a chance personally, and I think there is sort of a chasm between people that are more on, you know, Nigel Farage's idea of Brexit and on the Conservative Party's idea of Brexit. I don't think both of those sides really reconcile. Even, for example, as mentioned. Um, with immigration, we now have more control over our, over our borders and it seems that we've not really taken advantage of that. I mean, people might disagree with me on this. I don't believe in, you know, taking in hundreds of thousands of people from Hong Kong. I didn't really agree with it with Afghanistan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but at the same time, I do think that we do have to give it a chance. And like you said, I completely agree, we need leaders with an appetite for it. Well, there you go. And I suspect, I can tell you now, that this Brexit debate will rumble on and on and on. But you know what? Let's be honest about this. Look at what has gone on in the world since we voted for Brexit. Nobody could have foresaw some of the things that's happened. We've had a global pandemic. We've then had a cost of living crisis. We're then lurching into the cusp of a potential war in Europe. I mean, goodness gracious. Gracious me, uh, Brexit is a long-term strategy. So let's yeah. give it a bit of a long-term, shall we? See how it goes. And for goodness sake, everyone, stop bashing absolutely everything. That's what I say.